Hey guys, thank y'all for joining. If y'all are interested in looking at my first um, eyeshadow look using the Divine Rose 2 palette, keep on watching. Today's black owned business is going to be none other than Pat McGrath. I know I've heard a lot of people say, if you're only referencing black owned businesses like Pat McGrath and you need to do more research, I understand that and I completely agree. However, she has done amazing things. If you read her story, she is incredible and she deserves recognition. My dogs are barking at a llama. <laughs> Anyways, Pat McGrath definitely has recognition. She's getting even more recognition each passing day, but I still think that she deserves a, a space here um, for me to say she is the black owned business for the day. So that's just my opinion. With that said, I'm using her palette, Divine Rose 2, for this look today. And if you are interested, please keep on watching. All right, guys, so getting into the Pat McGrath palette. Let's just take another quick look at her, shall we? <laughs> look at how absolutely gorgeous these shades are. My goodness. My goodness. They're so beautiful. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of a more softer everyday look with a small pop. With that said, I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 202 brush. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Naked Blush. There is absolutely no fallout with at least this shade. Again, this is my first time using this palette, but it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This shade right here, it looked like my eye just with this one color on, reminds me of a sunset. <laughs> so I have brought that inwards. That is so, so pretty. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. That is gorgeous oh my lord okay so i'm tempted to go in with sex or terrestrial let's watch that just just in case you don't know <laughs> but you probably do ah oh, look at that that's gorgeous i think what we're going to do is we're going to Put extra terrestrial here on the outer outer corner. Oh my lord, Jesus! Oh man, that's that applies like a freaking dream. Yes, la verdad. I'm so tempted to put it on the entire lid. You know what? Let's do on two thirds of the lid. Oh, I'm having heart palpitations. <laughs> Look at, you can see just right there. You got the pink and you got the green. There's flecks of gold. This trichrome is hands down. It's gorgeous. And it doesn't even take much. I'm just barely tapping it. Do the same on this side. Holy moly. Can you see how, oh, it's so beautiful. I just want to stare at it all day. All right, I see you. Should we do the gold on the inside? Or should we do, I'm conflicted as to what to do next. All right, I'm gonna use the other side. I don't even know if I told y'all. I used the 203 to pat that color down. This is, an ideal brush for that. Let me tell you, I've got I've got a lot of lower end brushes. Um, basically, Sigma and Morphe. Sigma is great. Um, Morphe is okay, but uh, this is great. This is wonderful. This is a game changer. Let me just say, if you haven't tried these, I'm not do. I, I don't. I don't have an affiliate code. I don't have anything. I'm just being real, and not that nobody else is being real. I'm just saying, 
this is a game changer. All right, so I'm gonna use the other side of that same brush. I'm going to place, and I'm so sorry guys, that was extraterrestrial that I patted on my lid that is amazing and beautiful and gorgeous and deserves all the awards in the world. I'm gonna go in with Skin Show Rose Opal on the inner corner, on the inner third really. Oh, that goes in really nicely together. That's beautiful. Okay. I'm so in love with this palette. My holy moly. Moving on. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty 205 brush. Um, this is a contour shader brush. I'm going to go in with, see, I'm conflicted because I kind of want to go in with Eleganza, but I kind of want to go in with Rose um, Divine Dusk, but I also kind of want to go in with <laughs> Extreme Burgundy. Let's go in with um, Divine Dusk first, and then we'll see where we're at on the outer corner of the... Like, look at that. Look, oh, what a difference this makes. I barely tapped it. How could you not love these colors? My gosh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly dusk um, Eleganza on this area as well. And this is definitely a deeper look than I was originally going to want, but now I want it because it's gorgeous. <sighs> Lord help me. And for the inner corner, I think I'm going to throw in Bronze Rosé right here, just on that inner corner. We're going to use the BK Beauty 204 brush. I'm really bad at showing what these are. You can see it has that tapered end. guys that is my finished look bye I'm just kidding <laughs> so I do want to use the BK Beauty 201 um, blending brush and I just want to go in and kind of blend these shades out and kind of blend them just a little more together blow it out a little And these are very soft brushes. I'm very impressed with these and I genuinely believe that these are a game changer. Um, I do have other brushes that I didn't use in this tutorial, but I will use them in the future. So I'm going to finish up my face and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm done putting on my mascara and my lashes. I did wanna let y'all know that I went ahead and I used the BK Beauty 204 brush and I went in with Divine Dusk um, on my lash line, my lower lash line, because it's so pretty. <laughs> I love this palette. So that is the finished look. <laughs> As always, I will link below all the products that I use in this video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. This is my favorite lipstick. This is by far my favorite eyeshadow palette that I own. Um, Pat McGrath, you did a lovely, beautiful job. Thank you so much for curating this and letting us all be graced. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all later. Bye.